Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with my thoughts, analysis, and rant. And rant, this time it is the Google Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. So Google announced, I think a week and a half ago, could be two weeks, that they have finally presented the new successor to the Pixel 2, which is Pixel 3. I mean that's basically it and its release date is October 24 you can even check it out in their Google store that it will ship October 24 and the colors are black white and not so pink you know Google seem to have this weird anomaly you can even say choices of colors why not just black white blue red yellow orange why not do the same colors as your logo what what's so hard about that so going to give you my thoughts analysis and rant of the google pixel 3 and certainly i am not happy with this phone i'm sure the software of this phone is great i'm not doubting that but for the price, for its features, and for the phone itself, I think it's not a value proposition. So let's get on with the specs first, okay? So obviously, they finally upgrade the seal onto the body. It is now IP68 dust water resistant for both models. The screen is made by Samsung. It is now OLED, which is great. The screen ratio is 18 by 9, so it's more skinnier. Also, the Pixel has 5.5 inch screen. The XL has 6.3 inch screen. Both have Gorilla Glass 5. It also is HDR compliant. And it seems like it has 100% color accuracy or coverage whatever you want to call it Qualcomm SD 845 Snapdragon the latest and greatest of the processor two models of storage it comes with 64 gig and 128 gig that's it four gigs of RAM for both models so check this out it only has one camera two cameras in the front but one back camera for both models 12.2 megapixels f1.8 it has dual LED flash obviously it can shoot 4k 30 frames per second the front camera has two cameras eight me uh, two eight megapixels one of them is f1.8 and the other is f2.2 wide and ultra wide for those selfie and groupies I guess you can call them and it has a loud one loudspeaker it does not have a headphone jack but the package or should I say when you purchase it it does come with a USB headphone and then that's it what was the adapter it does come with a fingerprint scanner on the back and again the colors are clearly white just black and not pink and the prices are for the 64 gig $800 for the pixel and $900 for the 128 gig now for the XL you got $900 for 64 and a thousand dollar on the 128 gigabyte Wow and last but not least it has come with a notch a big notch for the XL for the pixel does not come with a notch which is a celebration that we should all be celebrating so let's put this in perspective what are my thoughts about this phone this phone is boring yes I said boring I don't want to hear about oh it's stock Android Oh, it comes with the latest and greatest stop, uh, Android software. I do not care about that as much as you can say stock Android. A lot of 
these manufacturers are catching up to Google's way of in, uh, making the software efficient, whether it be fluidity, whether it be efficiency, whether it be proper coding, whatever it may be. So I'm not really care. I don't really care about the software wise. The headphone jack. I'm not happy with them not including the headphone jack, especially for the price. USB-C headphone. I, I don't get it. You know, what, what's the point here? I mean, I, why, I, why not just screw the headphone jack, right? Oh, forgot one more thing. Does ha it does have wireless charger, which is great, finally. Um, Certainly, I'm not going to talk bad about too much bad of this phone because it has good and bad things. But I will say that for a phone that is $900, I expected more. So there are hidden features here. Squeeze. When you squeeze the phone, you can call for assistance, which is great, right? But that's more, is that really more of a hardware or is that software i read it was more hardware now if it's more hardware i think this is great obviously there's probably gonna be a adjustment on how hard you can squeeze and i think it has wireless charging which is great it's finally ip68 which is great it has one loudspeaker which is great it's nice to have two cameras in the front for groupies which is great a good proper screen not lg but it's samsung which is absolutely great. Now, let's talk about the bad. I've said it before, I'm just gonna repeat it again. No headphone jack. The notch on the XL. And the battery is actually not that good. Now, let's see what they have here. So, the Pixel has 2915 milliamps and the XL has 3430 milliamps battery. I'm not happy about that, especially for the price. That is absolutely terrible. So, my thoughts is going to basically comes down to this. If you like stack and stock Android, get it. If you want more for your money and you want a phone that can do more things than just camera and just software alone, then don't get this phone. That's basically it. So let's put this in a vacuum because I'm gonna analyze this phone, okay? In a world where smartphones are going up in price, reaching to $8,000, where the general consumer is not going to buy it at that price or they may maybe they'll do an installment plan not only that the pixel is not available in carriers in your telecom services whether it be the three major carriers T-Mobile, AT&T and Verizon I know Verizon will carry it but will AT&T and T-Mobile carry it? Unless you buy the unlock, the general consumer does not have access to it to the store. So the unit is not gonna sell. For the for the person who wants the most for his money, he's not gonna get it with his phone. The pictures, the picture quality is great, but the video isn't. It doesn't have a headphone jack. It has. It comes with one connection, which is USB. It only has one camera in the back, so it limits you. Now that depends on how much usage you get on this phone. Your mileage may vary, but at the same time, is it a value proposition? I'd say no. Now for Google to whoever is the design of Google you know what let's not even put in design actually no let's put it in design and marketing here 
I don't understand how this phone costs eight hundred dollars for only the things it can do. But what about the things that it cannot do? At what at what point does a person tell themselves, I'm not gonna spend a phone that's eight hundred dollars or a thousand dollars that it can't even do this? What do you what do you mean by can't do this? Well it doesn't have a headphone jack. I mean it doesn't even come with a USB to headphone jack. You know it only comes with one camera in the back. I mean what else features does it have? It's the the video quality is not even that great. So I'm ask, I'll ask you this, with Samsung S9 and even the Note 9, the LG V40, even the iPhone, the OnePlus, even Sony I guess you can say, with all that competition in mind, is the Google Pixel 3 worth it other than its software? And you have to remember, the latest and greatest of Android will come to those other phones sooner or later. And I'd say no. If the price of the Google Pixel started at $600 to $800, I would say, you know what? This is a value proposition phone. I would probably recommend it. Now, let's get to the rant. I don't understand why Google sticks with this design. I mean, with competitors creating better designs out there, they could at least design this phone much better. The back of the soft touch glass, or I'll even say rubber glass, you may have a rubber coating on the back. I really don't like that because that basically rubs off over the years. And that's not gonna look good. And I can tell you this, the back of the Google Pixel 3 is not gonna age well. The notch, it's big, and I'm glad that the Pixel doesn't have it, but the Pixel 3 XL, if you have the Pixel 3 XL, I don't wanna hear, oh, it doesn't bother me. Okay, how about stop putting a black wallpaper or black background on your phone and see how much that bothers you how about put a white wallpaper and see how you react to it i mean look if they could do squeeze for assistance i mean if they could add two front facing camera why not just have two back cameras why stick to one and Another thing is that if their picture quality is so great, how come their video, how come the video quality is not so great? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm, this stabilization in the video is good, but the quality of the video is not great. So, how could you have one aspect of photography or of camera features is great, but not the other? Obviously, there was a lack, there was not. A vision in the overall features of the pixel and I wish the pixel 3 XL just take out the notch and just made everything you know close that gap or just close that whole thing just like the note 9 and my biggest rant about this phone is the battery size 5.5 and you tell me you only can get 2915 Heck, even the HTC 10, which is a couple years old, has 3,000 milliamps battery. 3,000, and it has a smaller screen. And check this out, the Pixel 3 XL has 3430 milliamps. And the screen sizes on it is, let me look back, it's 6.3, almost the same as the Note 9, and the Note 9 has, what, 4,000 milliamps? And you're telling me this this is how much you can give me? That's absolutely disappointing. Not only that, the Note 9 is pushing more specs, pushing more speed, it can do more, and yet it lasts longer than the Pixel 3. 
Excel. It doesn't make sense. Look, if you, I'm just gonna conclude like this. If you like this phone, go ahead and buy it. If you like a phone that has just stock software, Android software, or you want the basic of the basic with no fuss, no must, none of that, just get this phone. No need for me to convince you or other reviewers out there don't but if you have the budget if you are buying things at a budget you are price conscious you want to get more for your phone you want to use this phone for the next two three four years or even five years go look at the other competition and don't even look at this phone that's it it's that simple and if you somehow don't like my conclusion fine go ahead and type it in the comments and so that basically is my thoughts analysis of the Google Pixel 3. I will see you in other thoughts, analysis, and rant. And rant. Mr. Informal, bye bye.